Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and this is my new apartment. <laughs> if you missed my life update video, I'll throw it up in the cards, but I spent the last couple of weeks, and I still am, uh, moving. <laughs> We, uh, my boyfriend and I finally got an apartment together and we're super excited and we've been doing a lot of work and that's kind of why I've been posting less content um, and the content that I did post was kind of pre-recorded. Um, so yeah, so this is not my permanent setup. We're actually in the bedroom just because this is the most set up room and even though it is still pretty echoey, it's the least echoey room <laughs> that we have. So I thought I would just film this quick little video here and then um, if you want to see the progress um, that we've been making in, you know, all moving overall and then eventually setting up my office and my new filming space i'll link my moving vlogs playlist up in the cards because everything that i'll be doing will be documented in moving vlogs so i didn't i don't think i said what this video was going to be about so i wanted to do an update on how my no buy went for the end of 2020 and then what i'm going to be doing from here on especially now that we're in a new apartment and of course we have a new budget. So if you missed my first announcement video for the no buy, I'll throw it up in the cards. I actually just went and rewatched it myself now to refresh my memory. Um, but back then we hadn't confirmed that we got the apartment yet, but the whole point was um, we really wanted to start a new budget and work together to really boost our savings, which helped immensely. Just taking things seriously from all the way back then uh, really put us in the best position for this apartment. So that's that was fantastic. I'm really glad that we did that. So if you want to um, see all the rules that I put in place with a no buy, I'll just check out that last video because really I only bought one, two, three, four, five, six things and they all fell within my rules. So I actually did really well. I'm just going to talk through those purchases and then talk about where I want to go from here. So first of all, for uh, makeup today, I'm actually not wearing any makeup. I've just been constantly <laughs> bringing things upstairs, unpacking, cleaning, doing laundry. It's, it's just a bunch of stuff. So I haven't been wearing as much makeup. Uh, I still enjoy it. I still can't wait to get my new area set up so I can have my whole collection because also I don't have my whole collection here yet. We moved about half my makeup collection here with us so far and we have to go back and just piecemeal pick things up every few days. Um, so I think the next time I'm filming this on a Sunday, we're probably going to go next weekend to finish picking up the rest of it. So then hopefully I'll have the <laughs> at my actual whole collection here um, but as it stands right now all I have are what I packed in like my small boxes and then what I had in my everyday makeup basket for December <laughs> so that being said I don't have all the products that I did buy because I bought kind of staple products and since they weren't opened yet I bought them essentially because I was almost out of those products um, so I bought those and since they uh, like I said I didn't actually open them yet I packed them in a different box and that box is still at my old place <laughs> so we don't have it here but the three products I did buy I bought a face powder I bought a, uh, a BB cream a foundation it was a BB cream from wet n wild and then a, um, a concealer so those are the three actual makeup products that I bought. All, you know, good everyday kind of things that I would usually buy um, and use enough to actually like pan them consistently. So I'm really happy that that's really all I bought for makeup. I did end up getting one or two makeup products. I know I got a, um, an eyeshadow palette that I immediately packed away because we were moving for Christmas and my birthday. Um, so once I unpack um, in the moving vlog where I unpack actually all my makeup, I'll make sure that I show those, you know, whatever I did get for my birthday and Christmas. But we were actually so lucky that we confirmed our apartment in early December. So like my family, his family, everyone who knew us knew to get us either like Amazon gift cards, bed bath and beyond coupons and gift cards or just apartment things for the apartment so we ended up getting a lot of great things just through you know the luck that we had of moving right after the holidays so other than those three makeup products i did place one sephora online order uh, like i said my birthday is in december and i really wanted to place an order just to get my birthday reward so i got the sol de janeiro i'll throw a picture up it's like the little two mini lotions because like that's really useful and i could always use those so I placed an order and I placed an order just for one regular sized makeup eraser. I really wanted a full size one. These retail for $20 and I actually had enough Sephora points. I think it's 500 points where you can get $10 off. So I got this for $20, I got $10 off and then I got my birthday reward. So I only spent $10 and I have a full size makeup eraser to use here. So I'm really happy with this purchase and I'm also happy I was able to use up my points and get that $10 off and I got my free birthday reward because I knew I wasn't going to be setting foot inside of a Sephora anytime soon. So that was everything for makeup, something that actually really surprised me. Um, I thought I would have to buy skincare just because it's something I use twice a day, every day. I did not have to buy any skincare. I had a lot of products. I think the only thing that I'm going to have to buy maybe in a week or two is toner. 
because that's the one thing that I'm running low on. Everything else, I have backups. I didn't run out of face wash. I didn't run out of moisturizer. Uh, it's been working out really well for me. So I'm actually really glad that skincare worked out that well. And um, I'm glad that the move helped me really uh, realize how much skincare I had. I still need to organize like underneath the sink in the bathroom and kind of like my backup drawer area for like toiletries but I still have enough skincare where I don't think I'm gonna need to buy any serums or anything for quite some time so I was really happy about that last but not least for hair care I did have a lot of hair care and also not all of my hair care is here I only have like half of my products here um the other half are still back at my old place but I only had to purchase two products and they're both right here I was actually completely out of shampoo I ran out of shampoo like a couple of days before the move and I didn't want to buy it until we were here in the new place um, so I just placed an online order and I got these this is my favorite shampoo this is from the Head & Shoulders Royal Oils collection this is the moisturizing co-wash and then this is the moisture boost shampoo with coconut oil so this is actually a sulfate shampoo so this is more of a reset wash kind of shampoo I use this once every four-ish washes whereas this I use every other wash um so these are my favorites they're really affordable I get them online so that's what I purchased because I had plenty of conditioner I had plenty of um gels plenty of oils plenty of everything else so I'm nowhere near finishing up all those products so all I needed was the shampoo so overall I'm really happy with how this note I went moving forward I uh, will be doing a new budget I don't know if you guys are gonna be interested in hearing about um, my new makeup budget I don't have much to share right now just because I don't know what it's gonna be yet right before um, the move I actually found out that I got a promotion at work and I got a little monetary bonus I got an award and a bonus um, so that actually just helped really great for the move I just I was able to put all that money straight into like things we needed to get for the apartment but um, for the promotion, I actually haven't gotten a paycheck yet because I think it was effective January 1st. So I haven't gotten a, my new paycheck yet. So I don't know exactly how much I'm taking home each month with the new pay bump. Could I do the math and figure it out? Yes. Would I rather just wait for my paycheck and see what it actually comes out to after taxes? Yes. <laughs> So I'm going to wait until then and then I'm going to actually go through update our budget because we have a spreadsheet with our budget on it and then once I do all the calculations and everything I'm going to come to an amount per month that I'm going to allow myself for makeup and either I get to spend it that month on makeup or I could save it and roll it over to the next month. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing you know one or two videos about my makeup budget once I actually know about it. I probably probably be something I could do in February. So if you guys are interested, just let me know down below. So I would call this a roaring success. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope to get my new filming setup done soon and hopefully we can get some rugs here to dampen, you know, the echo that I'm sure was annoying you throughout this video. I do apologize. Thank you guys again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.